I've officially moved in. Understand where somebody else could be coming from. Um, how has it been living on your own, Amber? Good morning, y'all. I was just getting a thumbnail, but good morning and welcome back to my channel. So as y'all can see, I've officially moved in. Also, if I look the same for days and days and days in a row, don't you worry, I haven't I haven't unpacked like anything. Yesterday when the movers moved all the stuff, like, I don't know, I was just drained from like, <laughs> just from the process it was just like draining and so I went and like grabbed some dinner with Britt and then I came back the only thing I've done is made my bed which I've ordered new bedding anyways but this is just the bedding that was like already on it and obviously I had to go to sleep last night and whoo honey I slept like a baby I slept so good it's like nice and cold in here too it gets cold in here I love it of course I sleep with the fan I see the ceiling fan be doing that work and then just you know it's good the only thing I've done is my bed of course i want to change the bedding i'm just not into like all white uh bedding and stuff i just laid a rug down this was like brand new i hadn't used it it's just been sitting in the box so that worked and then i just threw my old stuff on here but tbh i don't even want to put a lot of stuff in here tomorrow the guys come in to mount the tv that'll be that and then i mean i think i want to put something in this like corner but i kind of just want this to be like a little solace space i sleep i do whatever but it's just like chill not too much going on oh my gosh i'm waking up to the sun this morning i'm so glad i chose a place with a window in a bedroom. I think I would have been really sad and regretted that a lot if I, you know, whatever. Also, there's a lot more space like and stuff behind here. But yeah, I mean, I need to unpack, get stuff figured out, but that's like the last thing I wanna do. I ain't gonna lie, like it takes me weeks, <laughs> sometimes months to unpack a suitcase whenever I come back from traveling, so. I don't know, this might be the new decor. Like, I think that's a vibe. I think that could be cute. And who knows how long it's gonna take me to get a couch just because all the shipping for that type of stuff takes forever. So we might be looking a little bit ghetto for a while. But I'm not gonna lie, it's like a nice little cozy on the floor feng shui, which I'm into low profile seating anyways. So it's not bad. I need to put the legs on that chair, but I just haven't because who cares right now? Do y'all feel like this vibe suits me? I feel like, oh my gosh, so cute. Yeah, I don't even know what I want to do today or where I want to start, should I say. I do think I want to start with opening some packages I got from Amazon just so I can refresh my memory on what I got before I hit up somewhere like Target and buy stuff that I already got. So yeah, that's probably the plan for today. Unbox those Amazon packages and then possibly go to like target sam's club to get some necessities for the household paper towels toilet paper things of that nature you know what i'm saying and honestly eventually i'll go to the grocery store i have a couple things but i already know like right now with the move and everything i'm not about to be in the kitchen cooking that's just not one of my top priorities so either i'll be eating out forgetting to eat making a sandwich with my little white bread i got back there or thankfully factor sent me over some meals so i have quite a few of those in the refrigerator right now and it's like pretty much the only thing i have but luckily with factor they send over actual meals i don't have to like take out ingredients and prep and cook because i just don't want to do any of that right now so yeah they deliver fresh never frozen meals to your doorstep and they're made by like gourmet chefs so the meals from what i've seen the description show they seem very gourmet okay So yeah, right now, I'll definitely be taking advantage of that. Just because I know when I'm like really busy, sometimes I just don't be thinking about eating for real. And then by the time I think about eating, 
either everything's closed, it's super late, and I'm just like, all right, I'm, I'm about to eat, sleep for dinner, um, which is not good. So I'm happy that Factor sent me some meals so I can have like something to eat at night, especially for those days where I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna eat today? I don't feel like going anywhere. And also they're perfect to take on the go. So if you're busy and you know you're gonna wanna eat, you can heat them up pretty quickly, eat, just bring your little silverware girl and you'll be ready. But I definitely think you should check out Factor and the meals that they offer. I don't know, I personally love the convenience of Factor and just having meals on hand. So head to factor75.com or click the link below and use my code AmberMartin50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. So yeah, I'm gonna be eating one of those later because like I said, I don't have no food for real. This is like Christmas, but not really. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. This is like Christmas. I forgot what I got. And I ain't got no scissors. I mean, I do, but I don't know where they at, so. Essentially, I have no scissors. Useful tips, whatever. I got a pot. I didn't care to get like a whole pots and pans set because I don't be using all that stuff that's in it and I just wanted to get like what I use so here's the pot and I feel like I'll probably get a smaller one too but I just want something I can do everything in to start um, oh no well these are my kitchen scissors so I still can't use these but I mean I can wash them but little food scissors I don't know what this is Bowls. Oh, these are cute. I forgot I got these. These little bowls. I love to eat like ice cream. Like, I don't like to have like normal size bowls for certain things. So like ice cream or little snacks you can put in here. And it came with six of them. I got a lot of kitchen essentials, I feel like. Oh, a food scale. Very simple. It's like very tiny and small too. I got a vacuum cleaner. I don't know. I just needed something quick and easy. And I got this drying rack. So you just prop it over the sink. Whenever you need to dry stuff, so it just like rolls out and it rolls back up so you can store it so it doesn't have to be out all the time. Let me make sure it goes fits, fits my sink. Okay, I don't even have any silverware yet. I got this. It seems so big. Are any of my drawers as big? I'm guessing. And of course, I'll use them without the lid too. So let's see. With the little straw. Oh, she's so cute. Right, let's figure out how to get the rest of these out. Okay, yeah. Cutie little cups. I have no clue what this is. Ooh. These are a big boy dish products you should avoid. Cooking oil, bleach, cleaning solvent, rubbing alcohol, dishwasher. Well, that's not gonna happen. There's like a little stand for it so you can put it on your countertop, but I'm not gonna keep these on the countertop. But that's cute. Cutting boards seem nice. So 
multiple sizes. I don't know if can tell. I just see myself now. Just chopping, chopping, chopping away. Fragile, handle with care. Oh, I should probably keep these in here for a little bit because I will lose these. But I got, I'm gonna just put this back because I forgot, I gotta get seasonings. So I got these little containers to hold my seasonings so I can season all the food that I will be cooking. And then it has all the labels. Oh, they have black. They have the, like clear. Oh, they give you lots of options. Okay. Cute, fun, exciting. Oh, and then I got these because I was like, ooh, when I first move in, I have to get all new towels and stuff. So I just needed stuff to clean my face. So I got these from Clean Skin Co. Came in this little box, but they're just like face towels, I think they're supposed to be. So. I was excited for these. They seem very versatile. They're mixing bowls and then they come with lids, but of course you can use the, I don't need them now, but you can use this as a cutting board or like you can sit hot pans or pots on it. That's like how they were showing it. So I got a new duvet insert, but I'm not gonna put it on my bed until my new sheets and stuff come. I love the one that I have though. My bed is like super comfortable, but I got a bigger duvet insert. So I got a king size, because my bed is a queen, so I got a king size duvet insert, but my normal queen size duvet cover. Since I was getting a king size, I was like, let me just try out something. Okay, I got some little dish rags for the kitchen. Um, well, what's the point of that? Just like a kind of organic color. Very simple. Ooh. Okay, I got these bowls and they're like really deep. Came with four of them. Cereal, oatmeal, all that. I wanted to stick with the stainless steel. Like even if I'm not gonna get a full set, I do wanna, I like the stainless steel look. It gives behind you, chef. Heard you, chef. Yeah, she's about to look really cute in the kitchen. Okay, I'm excited. Behind you, chef. Mm-hmm. So yeah, as y'all can see, I got a lot of kind of like kitchen essentials just because for the rest of my place, it's like I need to look at it to decide what I want to purchase because the kitchen, whatever, but like my living room. Oh, cute. So I got this little thing. The one like little decorative piece I got. Put soap, hand soap in the kitchen. I'll probably get other ones for the other bathrooms, but I don't know what style I want, so I just picked this one up. I got this little power tape, power table. <laughs> I got this little tower. What are they called? I got this little paper towel holder that I'm gonna put inside like the cabinet so it's not, the paper towels aren't out. But I really like these type of paper towel, paper towel holders. You can just like rip it off and it doesn't like keep pulling. It just stops it, so. I'll probably get a couple more of these, but I just wanted to get mainly for the kitchen because, yeah. And then I got some little storage jars. I mainly got it for this one because I don't have one for like spaghetti noodles, but I'll put whatever else in the other ones. Um, and for my seasonings, I got this little thing and it's expandable, so it'll expand to your cabinet. And of course you just stack your seasonings on top of that. So that's cute. And then only a couple more boxes and then we can finally be done. Oh my God, I've never done, I've never bought so much stuff from Amazon in my entire life. And then we have some more glasses. Oh, cute. I don't know if y'all can tell, but they're cute. Oh, these are cute. Oh, and they're like heavy too. Okay, it's like giving vintage vibes. Love. Your girl is living in her own place now, so. I'm like starting from scratch. Ooh. 
another one. I don't know if this one has a lid, but this one is bigger than the other one. Last thing is just some towels. So yeah, I need to obviously wash these, but that's why I need to also go to like Sam's Club and stuff get some like detergent and all that. And I'll probably buy some more, but I didn't want to like go crazy buying towels I never even felt before. So yeah, that's the haul. I'm obsessed. I love it. Okay, so I just pulled up to Sam's Club. I think I'm gonna go to Target after this. I'm drained. I just need to get like necessities and stuff. Kind of, sort of, uh, maybe a couple food food items. Like I want to get some waffle fries. The waffle fries from Sam's are good they like remind me of chick-fil-a probably like some chips or something because i don't think i'm going to Publix today i'll go to Publix another day i don't really care i need some gum some like little little stuff trash bags detergent type stuff dishwasher type stuff toilet paper paper towels i just need to kind of like put my eyes on stuff to see exactly what i need but but yeah let's Go in Sam's Club, try to make this a quick trip. Y'all, y'all, my life is insane. Okay, I dropped my eggs, so we have eggy eggs coming out. My trash cans have fallen. I have um, stuff falling all over this. This is just no bueno. I didn't want to take two trips though, so. Ooh. Now my everyday beaters are ruined with egg yolk. <laughs> I'm sad. I'm going to go find a pair. Cause like what? Y'all, this is awful. This is just. Now they really beaters, but this is my everyday shoe. I'm so sad about them. After all that chaos of me ruining, oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to actually hold it together, but I'm really very sad about my freaking Birkenstocks. Like, this is like hard to get. <laughs> I'll give y'all a very, huge haul of everything i picked up and then i ended up stopping my Publix to get a couple things because i need like sandwich meat or something i didn't really want to do a full-blown grocery haul because i didn't feel like being in the grocery store but i wanted to get some stuff so let's go through what we got some trash bags dishwasher pods the detergent and some like scent boosters candy so i can fill up the candy drawers I also got some hot fries, as y'all can see, I got into them already. Paper towels, toilet paper, lots of gum. I'm a gum girl, I keep gum on me. One seasoning, I have one seasoning other than salt. Okay, I really like this uh, seasoning from Sam, salt, pepper, and garlic blend. Does the job. Personally, I like the blue bag better, but they don't have the blue bag at Sam's, and I wanted to get these because I like to just pop them in my mouth as I'm walking by every now and then. And then I got these Rice Krispie treats and we have a big thing of Coke Zero. Ah, Target, I forgot about, I, for, I forgot I got this stuff because I was like, oh my gosh, look at what my, look at what the egg did. Oh, Damn, nothing nice. Anyways, I got just this little like folio thing to hold documents, mail, stuff like that, keep it organized. And then I got some silverware very nice it seems a couple random things specials and such my face wash i always wonder what smells good this smells good and then those little star face little pimple patches and some q-tips let's see set all this stuff here because it needs to get washed have i washed it no I got some Sprite Zeros. Oh, and then Publix. Oh, I also got these, I didn't show y'all, from Byredo and Suede. And then I just picked up a little Mojave Ghost hand cream to keep by the sink. I'm gonna put that stuff in my bathroom though. So for groceries. And this is how you know I didn't plan to do like a big shopping trip at Publix because I only brought my two little small bags. I was really planning on getting like sandwich meat and calling it a day. 
some turkey burgers, a few cheeses, the thin provolone cheese. I got some bananas. And mind you, I still need to go back because I didn't get like official. I just picked up what I saw. A tomato, the sandwich meat, some American cheese. Y'all, I'll be making these. They taste literally like if you're eating like a Zaxby's um, chicken finger sandwich. Oh my God, they be bomb. And I use that American cheese on that. This little Caesar salad mix, some cookies, pickles. This is my favorite yogurt from Dannon, the Light and Fit. It's the um, strawberry cheesecake though, it's so good. Barbecue sauce, light sour cream, pickled jalapenos, hickory barbecue, fave, spicy nacho. Need those when I eat Chipotle. And I got these like keto hamburger buns. I just get them because they're like pretty low calorie. I don't really care about the keto thing, but and they taste fine. Almond milk, some cereal, Frosted Flakes, Honey Nut Cheerios. These were like buy one, get one free. So I just picked up whichever ones was buy one, get one free. Some lettuce, some grapes. Yum, yum, yum. They were very good and crunchy when I was at the store. We're gonna wash these really quick. Scrub a dub dub, dub dub dub. Okay, it's clean. Listen to the crunch. Mm. Mm. That was good. And then I got some Capri Suns. At Sam's, they didn't have any. And TBH. Where my phone at? Come on, sister's just coming. Oh, sorry. I'm just talking. She probably left. Hello. Hello, where are you at? Well, you told me to go to the front. And you could have called and said that. I called you, you didn't answer. Bro, you, you, you should have called again. <laughs> I did, I was like, I mean, maybe she just not seen her phone. Maybe she put it on the end of your Yeah, phone. bro, I didn't see my phone though, for real. Well, where are you at? You already too far? I mean, no, I could probably turn around right here. So, no, I called you and you didn't answer. So I was like, maybe, yeah, maybe she's. I had got distracted. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't, got, I ain't gonna lie. I got distracted. I was um, recording a haul. And then I literally just said on camera, I was like, bro, where's my phone now? Azarius has been calling me. I feel bad. So sorry. How close are you so I can like actually pay attention? Like um, five minutes. Okay. Anyways, they didn't have Capri Suns at Sam's today. And TBH, I like the fruit punch flavor. Anyways, I, but these ain't for me. These are for Micah. <laughs> and I'll be drinking. Let me, no. <laughs> Let me show you this. Is it's it on like, Instagram? Yes. <laughs> Hot peach. Yeah, and I just don't know that I love that. That actually cracked me the f up. What's going on? What's going on? Play, I'll say you have a big butt. <laughs> you want me to tell you? Did you see that? Did you see that? There, I can seriously see my butt in the freaking window pane. You got a little. Uh, please. <laughs> <laughs> it is not giving the letter P. <laughs> What's it giving, bro? Come on, quit playing. Nah, from far away, of course, it did not give, but. Look, that's a thigh. <laughs> that's your thigh. <laughs> that's your thigh. That's your thigh. That's funny. <laughs> you're mad and you're a hater. <laughs> you're... <laughs> oh, I told my mom, I was like, I'll start going to the gym with you. I don't like doing Pilates now. I didn't say, I just hate going to the gym with her because she just gets on my nerves so much. Like, <laughs> you don't have to tell me am I going. I'm going when I go. When I get up to go, that's what I'm going. Why don't you get a run with her? Running is a different thing. But it'll be good, like. I be wanting to, but she just gonna be. No, I need to run by myself. No, she's not, no, she's not. For one, she ain't got no breath to breathe to do all that. <laughs> <laughs> she, got all, she, ain't got, she ain't got all that mouth when she running. She needs the energy to, to run. I need to do, because I do. Like, I like now, you don't want to run with me. That's a good I sure will not. Oh, no, I'm, but I'm motivating, though. I'm like, come on, you got it. Like, breathe. Yeah, see, she not. She gets on my nerves doing that. She'll be like, 
and then we went running and you okay and i'm out of breath what you want me to do what no, you want me i don't be let her quit though like she if she stops i run back and i'll be like okay take two, 10 seconds come on okay. and see you'll probably get pissed off okay well pissed off and keep going because i'll be pissed off at the pilates teacher and i still have uh, okay yeah so like, pilates is actually hard yeah, no, no, okay, look at her. They've been shaking and stuff. Getting my hair kind of done on Friday, but I was thinking about getting it cut shorter. I don't know what length I should do. You should do the layer this length. That would be really cute. Layer this length? I mean, the length. Like, you should let her cut that, mm -hmm. and that be the base, and then layer it. That would be really cute. And you could do those curls. Like, she had to do, like, a blowout. Well, it's only going to be, like, two weeks. Yeah, I think you should cut So that's how I was like, who cares? Skinny piece off? Let's cut this right there. Oh. And then, like, do the little blowout look. I can show you how to do it. At night. It's easy. I feel like I haven't just like came and talked, but I feel like I haven't sat down and just like talked about even just like living on my own, like how it's been or anything like that, just cause I've been like on the go and all that type of stuff. I just got up, so the voice is a little bit crackly, sorry. You know, it's, it's given morning voice. The only burning question I can think of at this moment is how has it been living on your own, Amber? It's giving. Yeah, but you know, just, Oh, I look so ugly. Hold on. Oh, I thought my camera was fine. Okay. Okay, that isn't really good either. I look like a lion. Yes. Do y'all hear how quiet it is here? Just giving you a little preview of me living alone and what it's like. Except I play music all the time, which I'm so nervy about because I'm like, am I a bad neighbor? <laughs> I don't want to be a bad neighbor. I don't think I am. Hopefully I don't have anything in my teeth. I don't think I'm a bad neighbor. But, like, I don't really hear anything, to be honest. Like, I don't really ever hear my neighbors, so I assume they don't hear me. But also, of course, I'm not playing, like, crazy loud music at odd hours of the day. But... I'm just like, oh my gosh. Like, hopefully if I am too loud, hopefully I'm not, I hope, I hope they don't hear anything, cause I'd be vibing. But if I am, I hope they can just like come, like respectfully, just be like, oh, so I'll know, cause I don't want people to hate me, you know? Cause um, yesterday when I was, when y'all saw me organizing, shake your dreads, shake your dreads, I'm looking for the hole. <laughs> like, booming. Midday. Yeah. So, there's that. Yeah. That's one major difference for real. <laughs> like living at an apartment versus like living in a house. I have to be, I'm like so much more aware of these things, but I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. But it's just like, normally I listen to whatever, whenever, and I don't think about anybody else hearing it, but I'm like, oh my God, like, what if a five-year-old walks past this door? Because I would not play this if Michael was here, but it's like, I love the shower here. It gets so freaking hot, like burns your skin off hot. And I love that. And also I love like, y'all saw the other night when Azaria was over, it's always like a vibe and you, oh, I can't wait to completely furnish it or not completely because it'll probably never be done, but to furnish it for the most part and like just have a cute vibe going. But it's like even, though i don't have like full like furniture and stuff it's such a vibe like i don't have to turn on a lot of lights and stuff i love waking up to like the sunrise and like seeing the sunset if i'm here to see that like i can come in and i can cut one light on and it's like such a little vibe and it's just like so cute i don't have to try that hard and uh yeah i love it and hopefully hopefully soon y'all can see me stop recycling all of my clothes because i'm not dirty i did just do laundry for the first time here actually yesterday so i washed my recycled clothing <laughs> and yeah it's just too much to like rummage through all that stuff because i know if i do it if i start i'm gonna start making a big huge mess but i'm hoping to get back into uh like a workout routine because i since like all this has been going on i really haven't like gone to the gym or going run in or nothing. I just been doing this stuff and like, you know, so I just posted my I'm moving out video. I didn't, I haven't yet at least responded to a lot of comments and I really appreciate everybody's like kind words and just like, just being nice. Like, you know, and y'all know me. Um, 
y'all know me you know again like i said i'm really excited i saw somebody comment and they were like i like that you're showing that change while sometimes it can be hard and difficult and you know a tough pill to swallow isn't it always like bad and it's not always oh god it's not always hold on oh i think this is what i was talking about i was talking about the fact you can be going through something that's typically people see as difficult and it's a hard adjustment a big change and still enjoy it because i'm not gonna lie to y'all i am a person that's very much a person of habit i don't like change typically i don't typically do change i feel like it's the change that i needed for this point in my life at least you know what i'm saying and I'm hoping that for other people who are maybe scared to try something different, because it is scary. It's doing things like this is not easy, but it's a part of life. You gotta think about it too, right? Like I'm grown, right? And deciding to make a change, we can be grown ups, make grown up decisions under and understand each other. As adults, you have to, at least for me, I'm a very understanding person. I'm very open to listening to people and I hope that people can give me the same respect. When you're an adult, and you have had good communication with people and you understand each other and you respect each other it's just okay i guess also like living alone it's cool just to be able to get whatever i like like i mean it's not like i couldn't get this certain stuff but i just didn't because it's like you have like when you live with somebody else you're you're like suiting everybody's vibe not just what you like or whatever not that i mean i, I don't want to say it like that because I did whatever I wanted, but it's also just like a different vibe here. So I feel like my decor and like style is gonna be, you know, I like doing this, but I feel like it'll be a little bit different because this is like a different aesthetic just living wise anyways. It's just like really fun to like experience this. So I'm glad, I'm happy and I'm glad that I'm getting to. Girl, I don't even think I need to furnish it. I feel like it's cute as is, right? Like, what do you mean? That's an aesthetic. Go on Pinterest, search it up. Furniture on floor vibe. That will pop up. All I need is a rug and that would be a vibe. Put them pictures up. I won't have to do much. We could make that work. Let's be clear. But I, I mean, couch is coming soon. <laughs> well, hopefully it's coming soon because they better not have a lot. They talking about some 10 days. It better be 10 because every other couch is gonna take months and I just didn't want to wait that long. I can't. I really appreciate all the kind comments and the respect and understanding, which is honestly, I don't expect anything less from y'all because yeah, we get, we're here. We get each other, you know what I'm saying? Oh, but the last thing I was gonna say was, sorry, if you're ever like, girl, boobs, big boobs, Jesus, honey. This is like a serious thing, right? But when it comes to certain things, one thing that I do think about a lot is, the fact that while I'm getting older every single day, certain chapters in your life are, in the grand scheme of things, are such a small part. I know it feels like a lot, but God willing, if you continue to live, there's such a small amount of time in the grand scheme of things, you know what I'm saying? Like that still doesn't make anything any more easy or, and things can still be tough. That, that doesn't make it, that's what, not what I'm saying, but it's just hoping that this can like, you know, do something different and do it without feeling defeated. Be excited for something new. Make the most of the moment. Hey y'all, so today me and my mama are doing a little bit of like furniture slash decor shopping. So I was just looking, I was on TikTok actually, and the CB2 outlet popped up, but it was in a different state. And I was like, ooh, I, want, I think we have one, like Crate and Barrel CB2. So, we came to the outlets and I'm waiting for that one to open, but right now we're gonna go into the Pottery Barn outlet just to see if I see anything. I'm not gonna get anything just to get it. Like I actually st still wanna like love whatever I get. So if it takes a little bit more time to furnish my whole place, then that's just what it is. Cause I don't wanna just get something and be like, oh, I just need a table and just get it and then regret it later. I still wanna really like it. So if I don't find stuff, I'll just purchase online or continue to look on Facebook Marketplace and stuff like that. But just so I can see some stuff in person. The main thing I really need is a couch. <sighs> I've been so stressed about getting a couch. I have, if I don't find one today, I know which one I'm gonna order, but I wanna go come see if I see any in person first and like sit on them just to be, you know, positive. 
because yeah it's like it's one of the main focal points of the place especially when you first walk in it's like the first thing you're gonna really see so once I get the couch I feel more comfortable getting everything else because it's like okay I have one of the big things out of the way and then y'all know also with furniture it takes forever to get shipped so I'm also making a couple compromises and like changing what I originally wanted for shipping reasons because some stuff won't be here till like January end of December and it's like ugh, I don't want to wait that long I want a couch like ASAP so that's what we're about to go do go to the Pottery Barn outlet my mama is here to join me hi y'all it's so dark I have to wait till we get out Mama came to join. Hi, y'all. Of course. Long time no see. Now they just saw you uh, moving my, packing up my stuff. Oh, they saw me? Yes, I vlogged you. Oh, did you vlog me? Yes. I was so tired, y'all. Oh, yeah, you did. I vlogged you complaining the entire time. I was tired. She had me <laughs> packing up all her stuff. No, I packed up a lot of stuff. They they will agree with that. You don't know what you're talking about. This is, let's see. Hopefully they have some stuff in here. It should be. It says it is online. No. There's so much stuff I'm overwhelmed. I have this like little, this small little island area that I honestly probably won't sit at, but I think I want to put small little bar stools there. Uh, oh, I like the brown one better. Yeah, I like the brown one better. But yeah, I just want something small to go under there just in case I want to pull out and sit really quickly. Saw this little desk. I'm looking for like a vanity type desk. I don't know if it's too plain. And then I'm going to put that round mirror over whatever kind of desk I get. There's nothing crazy. It's just, yeah. That's a cute chair though. Yeah, the chair is cute. We're in the Crate and Barrel outlet now. So this is this couch. Not really my fave color. I just sat in it. But that's without that. So that's what I don't want to stick out with the These little chairs are cute. The dining table. They look like they might be comfortable too. I didn't sit in it. They're not that comfortable. Y'all yeah, really like this lamp shade head. This is cute. But I wonder. How do you do that? Like, you do it like this. <laughs> and dry your hair. How much longer? <laughs> right. No, this is cute. Okay, I like okay. that. But I don't know how you put it onto a. How do I put it onto something, Mama? You don't. Bro, I don't. It's not about you liking it. Okay, so say like this was the lamp right here. Here, let's pretend. What you think it's for this oh, one? Oh, let's see. Right here. That's how it'll look. But it has to fit because it has the screws. It has the screws that. Yeah, but where are the screws? This is trash. Hold on. I like this. I don't care what you think. They don't even know what the screws are. Y'all, this is cute, right? Like, this would be. Oh, I'm about to drop it. This will be cute. You like? Oh. Can y'all see? see? Like imagine they want me to find the random screws to. These chairs are cute. They're like the same as the other ones, but they're not purple. They're more like neutral. And that could fit. Oh, you don't like this? What? The table? No, the chairs. Oh. Yeah, but also I gotta, since it's like in the same space, I gotta make sure. You didn't want matchy matchy. Well, I don't, I, this ain't matchy matchy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are kind of cute. I 
Oh, yeah, this is comforting. I, the pack not up high enough, but I guess you're supposed to sit up straight when you're eating. The back is not up high enough? Okay, we'll sit in this one. Really? Yeah, I like this one better. It's, it's comfortable. That? Mm -hmm. Why it's there? Yeah. I took them out of classrooms back in the day. They're cute though. I got a lot. Yeah, not really. You see how yeah. the back is real long? Mm -hmm. Or it's just slouch. I feel like though, at least you would wipe those off a lot easier. Mm -hmm. This, you just have to keep Michael and his cheese fingers off. <laughs> oh, gosh. Because, Lord. I'll make you guys some. Yeah. Okay. I just feel like the purple, like the purple is cute, but yeah, if I have that I'm not to start. I'm going for a neutral. Like I'm going for some well, that's color. Not yeah, but not like it can have some color, but mm -hmm. I don't want to do I think I like those better than him. You got it. Oh no, you missed the whole thing. You're fine. No, you yeah, yeah. That's what editing is for. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're fine. Um Table. I think they're kind of cute together. <laughs> you don't have any taste on them. You don't have any taste when it comes to So, yeah, here's the chair, y'all. Do we like for dining room table type vibes? Yeah. You don't like them? Well, it's not comfortable, really. It is. I mean, it's not. Mm -mm. It's not. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> wanted that one. <laughs> You're like, yeah, this one isn't yet. <laughs> Good thing I didn't want it. <laughs> I can't ask my mama about nothing because immediately, what does she do? Look at the price. And then she's like, uh, I don't like anything. <laughs> I don't like anything anymore. <laughs> Wow, look at these huge planters. Those are humongous. Look how they're all rolled up. There's your little thing to go on your TV. Mm, I, I want to see my couch first and see oh. how I feel. Whichever one I decide. Ooh, these little chairs are cute. Oh, yeah. Or is that navy? I'm not tripping. No, it's black. Mm, I think I will want something lighter though. I don't want to bring it the room too dark. Do they have white versions? Mm, I don't like the way. No. Yeah. Oh, I got a Louis Vuitton TV stand. A Louis Vuitton TV stand. Mm -hmm, right there. It has the LBs on it, right? Haha, uh -huh, you're so freaking funny. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't not have the LBs. Oh, I want to point out this cute side table. Cute? Oh, okay. This is kind of cute though, Mama. You kind of ate with that one. It's heavy though. Try to pick it up. I have no reason to try to pick it up. Oh, it's kind of cute. Oh, and I can see myself putting magazines on this. And I don't know where and what room I'll put it yet. But probably the living room. You want it? Heavy. Why do you need to pick it up? Because I was just curious. Because you was you was tapping it like it was so cheap, but it's actually No, I was tapping it because I said why is, what is it? Huh. I might be kind of a fan of that. This all scratched up on the side. Where? It ain't gotta be perfect. Maybe I can get the. Oh, this one. This side is real scratched up though. Mm -hmm. It's like really scuffed. Mm -hmm. Aww, that's kind of cute though. It wasn't super scuffed. Bye, Let's see what it looks like the other way. If it's like sitting beside the couch. Mm -hmm. 
and I have the scuffed inside facing the couch so nobody can see. You don't know the vibe, honey, and that's not it. But I'm telling you, that's not it. Okay. Hmm. Cause can't you see like little Mac? I can't see nothing. I I really can't. I can't see nothing. <laughs> You're a big I fan. have no vision <laughs> for that. No vision. Bro. Why, did, why can't you see the vision? Well, high key, you know my little gold thing that goes like this? The health amazing. Mm -hmm. I already have that anyway, so oh, I yeah. don't eat. Mm -hmm. There's no point in it. Y'all, look at this. This mirror is $699. And it's the same exact size that I got for 50. <laughs> what a steal I got. I told you, I mean, you need to go to Big Lots and Ash LaFerge. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's wrong with those places, but um, what are you talking about? Oh, you don't see this little table down here? You don't like this one? Let me see. It's right up your alley, Ann. No, that's like a freaking night stand. Like, what am I supposed to do with that? Oh, what? you wouldn't want it in the living room? No, that's a night stand. No, it's nice. Oh. Yeah, those are cool, but they're huge. Like, they're really wide, and that one's all effed up. Mm. But, like, you could put this on the side of the table. This section was nice, but I do not want a gray um, couch. But it's nice. This section was nice, Mama. Ooh, I want to measure it and see how big this oh, is yeah. in comparison. I but, saw that one. But that I don't. Nice. But that's a. I think that's an outdoor section. Or that's some, but I don't want. I don't want it. I just want to see how big it is. Why do you need this much of a couch, <laughs> bro? It's the couch that I freaking like, bro. <laughs> Is Shaq coming to sit on it? Because what? Bro, the couch ain't for it made for individuals now. It's made to host all the people that's gonna come over. Understandable. <laughs> let's move the scene, so. <laughs> oh, let's get it to about 10 inches. <laughs> Just room it up for me. <laughs> oh, I'm weak. I don't know.